When I bought this mower a year ago, the charging system was not working. I've been charging this battery uh, every time I mow for about a year. I used to take the battery out and charge it with a car battery charger, but now I got hooked it up uh, so I could use the Jackery. And then sometimes I would just start it with the NOCO uh, jump starter. But today I'm going to take this deck off and see if I can get to the bottom of this problem. The reason I know it's not charging is when I got the mower running and I put a voltmeter on the leads, I'm only getting 12, 12 and a half volts. I should be getting 14. The other reason I know is when the mower's running, this uh, battery light right up here in the corner is lit whenever I engage the PTO. Okay, I got the deck off, and I just uh, am going to look for a loose wire. The guy I bought the mower from redid all this and took off all the safety switches. So you can raise the seat when it's running, and it won't shut off. Uh, so it's going to maybe be a little different than the normal wiring. But I know at the beginning, the light up here, the battery light up here would come off intermittently. Uh, so I'm hoping I'll find, just find a loose wire here. Okay, I've looked at the wiring and I don't see anything obvious um, on either side. So what I think I'm gonna do this, I don't know the name for it, but it was originally up underneath the mower, and they put it back here for easy access. I'm going to check the, clean the grounds on that, and then over here on the right side. And I'm not sure what that is either, but I'm going to clean that ground. I did clean that one. I don't think it's a problem. It, it, it was a little, little rusty, but... I don't think it's a problem. And then, and then around back here, be sure before you do this particular connection, you disconnect the battery. So I just had some sparks fly. I hope I didn't ruin anything. Okay, I've removed all this. I'm just going to clean everything up and put some silicone grease on it. And uh, possible this could be it. I doubt it. Okay, got this cleaned up. I couldn't get that loose or the other, the other one, but uh, I'm going to try it. Now, before I hook up the battery and try to start this thing to see if it's charging, this has to go back on the PTO or I will definitely damage it. It's this side that goes in the slot of the PTO clutch, so I'm going to go ahead and get these two bolts back in. Do this right side first, and then this left side was a lot easier to access. Here's a good picture of that bar sitting in that notch in the PTO. So I'll rehook up my battery and try to start this thing and check my voltage on the battery and see if it's charging. Okay, that didn't fix it, so you can see the battery light was still on. So here's the wire. There's a wire right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it, it goes down in and hooks into the PTO. So I'm going to disconnect it right here at this connection, and I'm going to check and see if there's a ground if either side is grounded. To get this apart, I just put a screwdriver down. Um, let's see here. Right in the bottom here and lift that up. Okay, and it should come apart. And I'm just gonna test these wires to ground for continuity. Uh, there's no continuity to ground with either one of these these spades. 
So that's probably good news. Okay, I checked the ohms on this clutch, uh, putting the leads on these two pins, and it was 3.4. I'm not sure what that means, but I'll find out. I also checked continuity between these two pins, and there is continuity, so I believe that is good. Okay, I just found out that 3.4 ohms is good for a PTO clutch, so uh, that's good news. My clutch is good. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. Apparently, anywhere between 2 and 4 ohms is good. And apparently, uh, if you have any trouble with your, your switch, your PTO switch burning out, which I do not, that is because you have too little ohms on your PTO and it's causing too much, too many amps. You'll see that in the link. Now, I am feeling a broken sheath on that wire, that black wire behind the red wire. And it appears that it's worn up against that metal, so that might be the problem. Um, I, I'm not sure, but um, I'm going to go ahead and take this PTO off and I'll get a closer look at it. Okay, I don't think that's my problem for no charge, but uh, I better fix that with some solder. I'm going to hook up the battery and let the mower down off its jack and start this without the deck on and see if everything's okay. Okay, I put the PTO back on and still got the same problem. I kind of guessed that. So what, right now I want to try to get this engine cover off. And I, I'm loosening all four bolts on the gas tank brace. And I should be able to lift that up to get this cover off. It's loose, but it's caught back in here. Those are the screws. There's two 10 millimeter and four 8 millimeter. And the screws for the gas tank brace are 10 millimeter. Okay, I got the brace out and I pulled the gas tank for forward here, holding on to this, the cap, and I was able to lift it enough to get this cover off. I removed the dipstick also. Okay, my engine is an SV725. Uh, 24 horsepower Cooler Courage and this is where the rectifier is and I'm going to take out these two bolts from underneath on each side and get that off of there okay I got that off and unplugged so now I need to do some tests now I've got it plugged back in and I'm going to check output on the far left and far right pins. So set the ohm meter to AC current. And what we're looking for is something between 13 and 40. 40 would be at high RPMs. So I've got to start the mower and then I'll put my leads on. Okay, I had 30 volts at a low RPM so uh, my stator's okay. Okay, with 30 AC volts on my uh, stator, uh, the next step is to check 12, 12 volts on this regulator. Now, I've got it unbolted, but I've got it plugged in. So, probing this middle one along with the ground or the battery ground is supposed to get 12 volts. But I'm not getting any voltage, so I followed this purple wire. I don't know if you can see. The center wire there, there's two whites on the outside and a center, kind of a lighter purple. I followed that wire to this plug, and I did a continuity test just to doubly make sure. And it's plugged into this plug. Now, I pulled this plug apart, and where 
where the purple is going in, there is a pin in there. You see right here? There's a pin, but the wire is broken off. So maybe there's a wire in here that got broke. Okay, I disconnected the switch. You can see right here, I pulled the switch off. I got it right here. And I also noted that this wire right here is falling out and loose. Maybe that's part of the problem. Okay, so this strapped red wire that's loose in the switch is the wire in the switch which has the 12 volts to it. So I don't know if I just pulled it out just now or uh, if it's been loose all this time. So I'm going to try to secure it. Okay, it was jerry rigged. It didn't have the right right connector uh, on it, but I got it to, so I think it'll stay in there. And then I checked it for voltage on this side, and it's got 12.6 volts. Now I'll plug this all back in and see if that makes any difference uh, with voltage at the regulator um, with the key either off or on. Okay, still no voltage at the regulator. Uh, with the key off or on. Since that red and white wire has voltage on it at all times, I'm going to try to connect that into the purple wire somehow. I don't have the right tools to take that pin out, and I'm going to have to jerry-rig this. I don't have any electricity where I'm at, so I'm going to have to do this without soldering. But I'm tapping into this purple wire like this. Okay, now I'll see if we got power. Okay, now I've got 12 volts to the regulator. Now I need to start up the mower and see if the battery's charging. Okay, I got my engine cover back on and gas tank in. Uh, I'm, now that I got that wire fixed, I'm guessing I'm going to have charging on my battery now. So I'm going to start the mower and see if I got charged. So that was a problem with my charging system and if you do have a good wire there and you checked your stator and there's 30 to 40 volts, uh, check the middle pin probed with the other probe to ground and there should be about 4 or 5 volts there. But I know I have that 4 or 5 volts because I'm getting 15 volts on the battery when it's running so thanks for watching okay so let's see if that fixed the battery light when the PTO is engaged Thanks for watching.